Hi guys, this is Rakesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, one of my subscribers, Shrikant Raju. So Shrikant is asking, sir, tell us uh, about the IDOC. IDOC is basically intermediary document. So let me explain you with a scenario. Suppose uh, the company is using SAP and it has to send data to some other organization or some other team. For example, in e-invoicing, e-invoicing is like company has done some sales. In order to uh, pay the taxes, company has a requirement to send the data to government. Now, how do you send your information from SAP to the government, right? To the government website. How do you do that? So, what you do is from SAP, you will generate an IDOC. IDOC is basically a format which captures the data, right? It will capture all your data that you want to send and formats will be different different there will be different format for sales order data there will be different format for purchase order data different format for your vendor invoice different format for customer invoice so whatever data you want to send you have to pick the format accordingly for idoc that's called message type now this information you have generated from sap the idoc is generated it will go to the receiver maybe some middleware that middleware will receive the idoc which means it will receive the data and then it will convert it into XML, right? That is the purpose of middleware. It will convert it into XML and then it will submit to the government portal. So this is how you are sending your data to the government and mostly used in cases for e-invoicing. So this is IDOC. So IDOC is intermediary document, intermediary. It exists only in between. From one system to another system, you are sending data through IDOC. And uh, when you are sending the data, you have to ensure that data has reached successfully, right? You should know the status. So what SAP has done is, there are different status. If your IDOC has failed, it did not go out of your system, there will be a status. You will look at the status, it will tell you the IDOC is not generated. It has not gone out of your system. If it has successfully generated, there will be a different status. If it is gone out of your system, there will be another status. Similarly, if there is any incoming IDOC, which is coming in, you will have different status. Whether IDOC is received successfully, whether it is posted successfully, if it has failed, what was the reason for failure? So SAP is very good in generating this status as well as giving you the full detail logs. Do not forget to like and subscribe my channel and see you soon with the next question. Thank you.